Hello and welcome back, my dear esteemed guests and my beautiful subscribers. It is me, of course, Lightlegger here, and today I am delighted to review the Binance Visa debit card. And obviously there are multiple different providers who are giving out these crypto debit cards, Virex, which we have reviewed previously on the channel. Then there is Nexo, Coinbase, FTX, and the most popular one, which most people are going for, Crypto.com. And there is a lot of differences between these cards. Some have different withdrawal limits, different cashbacks, and some other utilities that they basically offer. So I really recommend researching and looking out which one is the best card for you. But let's get started by looking into the Binance Visa debit card, by looking at the benefits that they are basically, you know, marketing here on their channel. So uh, first of all, uh, this is zero fee. So one of the reasons I stopped using the Virex debit card was the fact that I had to pay 1.5 euros a month for using that card, which was like kind of counter incentive to basically, you know, uh, grind out those cashback rewards. So if you were not using the card very much, it basically was useless because you were end up like, you know, costing more than you actually were getting from your purchases. Um, then there is up to 8% cash back on this uh, credit card on Binance. So there's different tiers and we're going to be looking into that a bit later on this video. And all your funds are safe, protected by the highest security standards available at Binance. Sleep type, we got you covered. So basically there is a um, Binance account where you're going to be moving your funds into the actual card and you can choose basically which funds are used first and etc. And hold crypto and exchange only when you need to. So there's a funding wallet and then you can move the funds to the exchange and etc. So there's kind of like a good ramp there. Some other providers don't have an exchange and don't have necessarily those benefits. And so you have a liquid, pretty good exchange where you can move those assets. Obviously, one thing that also needs to be understood that not all cards are supporting multiple currencies as a form of a payment in, you know, stores where you're going to be using the card. Let's look at a bit of the FAQ. There are some couple of informations here. So uh, the Binance card is currently available on Europe and I think also not available in America. So this may not be the card for you. Um, so yeah, I think this is Europe only, okay? And basically you do need a Binance account and any card that basically will be getting a Visa card, you will always need to do KYC. There's no way around it to get a debit card which is not gonna be requiring KYC. So please understand that. And here's a bit of like uh, the process of basically getting the card. I ordered it and I got it roughly in a week. Some of the other cards have a bit of a line uh, attached to them before you get them. Um, I think I've ordered the um, the crypto.com card like two, three, four weeks ago. Still haven't seen it. But let's get it now jump into the actual interface here. So here is the actual card. One of the first things I want to talk about here is the level system. So here you can basically see out the forms of percentages. So the normal cash back is only 0.1%, which is probably the lowest one that I've seen. I think the crypto.com card and Virex, for example, had 0.5% as their lowest tier. So if you're not willing to get a 1BMB, which is roughly, I don't know, like $400 right now, this is definitely not the card for you. But then again, the base income here for 2%, uh, which is a decent rate, is only 1 BNB. 10 BNB um, is something I could basically acquire. And then it kind of starts to get look pretty, pretty high for a, like a way level type of stuff here. But 3 to 2%, I think, is a very decent cashback rate uh, that you can have for your card. Now, here's a couple of like videos, me showing up uh, how to basically withdraw from an ATM. The ATM has a certain type of limits. I remember it being like 200 um, euros per like day. You can withdraw from the actual uh, card and you can use this on any normal ATM. 
And this is a Visa debit card, obviously, so you can buy your groceries, you can buy um, new equipment, your PC parts and stuff like that. And you will be getting that cash back on all of those purchases, which is really, really cool because when you're doing large purchases, you're basically getting a discount on them and everything will be basically paid on B&B. &B. And obviously when you buy, by the way, the B&B &B on the Binance platform, you can stake it, meaning that right now the tier one level that I have is basically staked out on my uh, account, which is giving me like 6% APY. So um, you're gaining that BNB all the time and it's a deflating asset obviously, which also makes it a really, really good store of value in my opinion, as chains are considered. And there's obviously more details here about the cashback and how everything works and you know, the monthly cap and um, uh, how much you can basically earn. So this is also very interesting here. So um, apparently for level eight, there's no limitation. Um, but this is also something that maybe people will be, um, you know, they may not like this idea that there's own limitation, how much rewards you can basically get per month. This is something that I have not seen with a lot of other cards, but, um, I actually know this for the first time. I didn't know this, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not really there for making millions through the cash back. I'm just going to be using it for buying groceries and small stuff when I don't have money on my, uh, normal card. Um, also, here you can choose basically whatever you're going to be moving these assets um, between. So which asset is going to be used first? So I've used USDT here now. So every time I make a purchase, it will be using the USDT balance to basically cover up the transactions that I do with my card. You can also use BUSD. You can use also Eros, SXP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, and Polkadot. So a lot of popular currencies here available. Um, and I'm going to moving this down. So I will be not using my BNB rewards. Obviously, my recommendation is to use stable coins because that's the way you're going to be benefiting the most from the cashback systems. Um, there's also um, obviously the name and the code where you can see your pin here. You can freeze the cards and you can see all the cards that you have. And here you can see the cashbacks at all the transactions that you've basically done with your card. So you have a bit of a, you know, here you can see that I've withdrawn 40 euros from an ATM and obviously you will not get a cash back from an ATM transaction. And there's also a view more tab, which will basically go more into um, the transactions that basically goes into more of these things. But okay, um, that's kind of like my uh, rundown of this Binance card. So um, it is an okay alternative right now the monthly gap is not like super exciting for big users out there but then again there are a lot of people who are just wanting to pay pay and withdraw money maybe they don't care about um the forms of cashback so maybe they're just going to be using it as a way to withdraw from your atm the money to your cash um and you know whatever they're going to be doing with that but basically there are other options out there and definitely i will be reviewing i'm planning to do a review out of the nexo card i'm going to be reviewing also probably crypto.com and maybe the coinbase and others and you can get more uh, formulated opinion about what is the best credit card uh, you can get right now but the binance card does require an account at binance i'm going to leave my uh, referral link down below for binance in case you don't want to have an don't have an account yet which you should because it's a great pool for uh, finding a lot of low cap altcoins and among other things coinbase is not really going to be cutting it out for as a only alternative to buy out some of the newest coins in the market thanks for watching i will be seeing you guys on the next video whenever it will be coming out cheers